So in this video, I'm gonna show you three different product research methods. I'm also gonna give you five great product ideas, product ideas that are getting traction for this Q4. So if you haven't found a product yet for Q4 or you don't know how to find one, then you will by watching this video. If you wanna skip all that and just go straight to a pre-vetted list of products, 127 of them to be specific, then you can do so. So you can get yourself a copy of this. It's an instant download, 100% free, 127 products ideas vetted personally by myself using the strategies I'm going to show you in this video. So if that sounds good to you, head to the top link in the video description down below and go grab yourself a copy of this sooner rather than later. Now is the perfect time to get involved in dropshipping. So make sure you grab a copy of that. That being said then, let's jump straight into the video. So the first product research strategy I want to show you is Dropper Spy. I've been using Dropper Spy for a long, long time now. And by the way, the only methods I'm gonna show you or the only things I talk about in my videos are things that I actually use and pay for myself. So Dropper Spy, I am subscribed. I do have a premium plan because it's a brilliant tool and it just cuts the product research time down to a matter of seconds, literally seconds, rather than minutes, hours, weeks, so on. It's worth pointing out as well, I will do a specific video on picking a product, what goes into a product that has the most potential as possible. But in short, you are looking for, number one, it has to be trending, and number two, never seen before. So the five products I'm gonna show you on later on in this video, they're, going to require some work when it comes to the supply and at least some of them will. I'm really, really trying to push now on my channel because I am a hands down a big believer of the fact that if you want to be successful at this, you have to get away from the bulk of other people who are also doing this. You have to separate yourself apart from them. If you're not familiar, check out a company called Funny Fuzzy. They are absolutely awesome. They encapture that strategy and that essence to a T. They sell trending products, but versions of trending products that nobody else has seen. And that is, honestly, that is the golden recipe to a product that can go to six, seven figures and beyond. Okay, so how does Drop Spy work? Very straightforward. You have a series of filters which you can select Dropspy will take these filters, it will go onto Facebook and it will find posts that match these filters. So obviously I'm going to stick to English because I don't speak any other languages. I'm going to go for all ages. Um, I'm going to go for Shopify and WooCommerce because obviously they're stores. They will be stores selling products, selling physical products. So I should be able to sell those same ones. I'm going to go for Shop Now, Buy Now and Get Offer because these will be ads, posts that are selling something. And then what I also do is I add likes, shares and comments. I typically start at a minimum of 250 comments. Shares are important as well because it shows how well um, a certain item resonates with an audience. So does likes. What shares also do is help boost a post for free. Every time somebody shares it, average amount of friends on Facebook, I think is in and around sort of 170 nowadays. So every time somebody shares it, that's potentially an extra 170 odd people that may see it. And they are, if you're advertising on a social media platform, again, that kind of goes into that recipe I was talking about earlier, is that if you have a product or a creative that is entertaining that people want to share, then that can only contribute and help as well towards its level of success. So here are the default criteria that I set. As we can see, Drop Spy has fired back lots of different products for us to choose from. As you can see, not all of them are going to be relevant. However, scrolling through, there's definitely some that are gonna point out more than others like these hoodies, which should be relatively simple to get hold of. The other thing I'm looking for as well is this date here, the last seen date. If this is within the last couple of weeks, then you know for a fact this product is working right now. Moving on to the second product research strategy, which is very, very similar by the way, it's called Minia or Minor, whatever you want to call it. Um, it works on the same premise, so you can select CTA platforms like shares, comments, and that sort of thing. It is worth checking both of them out because sometimes you do get different results dependent um, on which one you're looking at. What you can also do in this one, which you can do by Drop Spy as well, actually, which I forgot to mention, um, it's at the top, you can put keywords in. So obviously coming up to Q4, Christmas time, Toys are a massive, massive niche. So if we put toy in there, what it's gonna do is fire back all the results which have the word toy in. So it's gonna point you straight in that direction of the sort of stuff you're looking for. Where the advantage or what Minia has that Drop Spy doesn't, if I draw your attention to the left-hand side, we can look at Pinterest ads and we can look at TikTok ads. TikTok ads work exactly the same. 
So you put in how many comments you're looking for, um, what kind of store it's redirecting people to, the countries, plays, that sort of thing. So you can go straight to the things that have traction. You can go straight to the comment section, see what people are saying about it. And if you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that I love to see posts that have comments from people saying, yes, I've bought this product and I love it. That's non-disputable, stone cold evidence. People are buying a product. And if you see that, then there's no arguments. And if it's working for one business, there's absolutely no reason why it wouldn't work for yours. Saving the best until last then. This is one that I've, one of the newest ones that I'm newest to. It's the only, only, only product research method that I am an affiliate of. If you wanna sign up and check this out, I highly recommend you do. You can get a trial for one single dollar, then you can cancel, you can do all the research you need to do for a dollar. The reason I love exploding topics so much is not only just because it's good for dropshipping, by the way, like it keeps you up to date with what's going on in the world outside of e-commerce. However, staying true to the channel, then you can go straight to trending products. We're looking for things that are spiking in popularity in the last six months, obviously, because we want things that are coming into trend for Q4. We can filter by what we're looking for, so we can go straight to e-commerce. We can go straight to pets, for instance. Um, one thing you will notice is that, again, not all the products are going to be relevant, but this is good because, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, we want to try and separate ourselves from 99% of dropshippers and sell a product that isn't readily available on AliExpress or a similar platform because if people haven't seen our product before but we know there's a strong demand for it then it can only result in massive massive potential. So as we scroll down you can see it gives you different pieces of information as well like estimated sales numbers, human dog beds that's another one that was sold by Funny Fuzzy really really cool product, weighted stuffed animals, dog hats all these are easy relatively straightforward when it comes to sourcing so if you do want to stick to that tradition method then this is still relevant for you however I would personally advise staying away from it where exploding topics also comes where exploding topics also gives its true value um, is so you click on one of these things um, it's going to give you the average monthly sales it's going to give you the TikTok views in fact let's find a better product let's go for a super super popular one so you can see where's that crawling crab toy so um, it gives you the search volumes by month how many people are looking for it if it can find it it'll give you the amount of TikTok views as well so if you see something ridiculous in there like 10 billion then you know it's pretty saturated on that platform but what it also gives you if you scroll down gives you some relevant um, and related topics but also gives you this look the channel breakdown so you can see just what platforms a product is popular on so when you discover a product that's super super popular for instance i showed in fact to go down to the dashboard because i'm tracking it at the moment if you um, heated slippers so ignore the minus 61 percent that's because we're not quite at the peak of its um, spike yet as we can see the peak is in december time winter time it's fairly straightforward common sense heated slippers are going to be popular when the weather's cold but what we can see here look is super super popular product people 100 percent want and are looking for this thing but at the moment it's relatively unheard of on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, or X, or Facebook. It's super popular on Pinterest, but not so popular on these other platforms. So that would beg the question, there's obviously a gap in the market there um, to be one of the first people then to, to advertise this product on one of those platforms. So they're the three product research methods that I use. I was gonna say daily basis, but that's probably a lie. It's more so on a weekly basis. Um, so let's jump into the products ideas I wanna show you. So all of these are vetted, like they're all pretty well established. They have a significant amount of comments and engagements. Um, I have checked the comments as well to make sure that one, people are buying these products. Um, and number two, it's also relevant, it's working um, right now as well. So yes, some of these are 20 odd weeks, as you can see, um, but just to prove it, if we go to newest, we can see from a couple of days ago. I'm gonna go back to most relevant though, because this is typically the comments which have the most engagements. So this will be the comments other people find interesting. And they're usually the people who have said they've ordered this thing and then kind of left a review of their experience. So what we're looking for is a couple of things, intent, I'm not gonna to spend too much on this because I do every single week product ideas like this where I go into a bit more detail, show you suppliers, Shopify stores, everything. But here we go straight away. So Kathy, Elise, Matt's are wonderful, I have two and we'll be getting another soon. So nobody can argue, hopefully nobody can argue watching this video that this person has bought this product and therefore there must be somewhat of a market for it. That combined with the level of engagements, comments, shares, 
and what other people are saying in terms of intent, then I think it's pretty safe to say people are buying this thing. So that's product number one. I think it's super relevant, not just because of Q4, but because it's cold as well, or not just because of Christmas, I should have said, but because it's cold and it's wet, it protects your floors. Um, it's a great place for kids to play when they open all their toys on Christmas time, that sort of thing. Moving on to product number two, this is a brilliant, brilliant toy. Anxiety in dogs, go to Google Trends and search dog anxiety. It is increasing, has been increasing for many, many years now. Products like this help with dogs' anxiety. I'd be surprised. So mental stimulation reduces boredom and destructive behavior. Um, it's the sort of thing, as you can see, keeps your dog occupied for a long time. Perfect for if you go out or if you're cooking Christmas dinner and you need to get your dog out of the kitchen for an hour or so, so you can get on with what you need to do. Uh, just a brilliant, brilliant product in my opinion. And again, this is backed up by what people are saying about it. 3.9 thousand comments, 2.8 thousand shares and 12 thousand reactions. Then we have this product here. So this one is actually branded as you can see, if you look at the logo and then the logo on the set. The reason I wanted to feature this one um, what's also weird about this, perhaps somebody watching this will know why, but I can only look at the oldest comments and not the newest one. That's the first time I've ever seen that. So 375 comments, 1.4 thousand shares, 6.8 thousand reactions. It's basically like a magnetic miniature screwdriver set. Super cool, super handy, to be honest, um, for anybody to just kind of keep around the house, the sort of thing that people would buy their husband. And this is also backed up in the comment section. So again, ignore the dates. Well, kind of don't ignore the dates, actually. So I want three sets for Christmas, please. It's Christmas coming up now if people want it for christmas last year they're probably going to want it for christmas this year's people's buying behaviors consumers behaviors don't really change that much so as i was saying ruth i bought one for my husband and he loves it have one brilliant got one for my hubby last year um, i got two of these one for the house and one for the trike just because i'm um, finally tools for me so as you can see it's like the perfect um, i have this and i love it it's another cool stocking stuff i was just about to say it's like the perfect kind of stocking filler for a person to get their partner at Christmas time. Definitely, definitely, definitely think you're onto a winner with this product. Then we have these looks. So these are basically insulated leggings, but they look like tights. I'm not an expert in this field by any stretch of imagination, but to me, that's what they look like. Um, and again, people seem to really like them. They look really, really popular. We can see from the comments that they're very recent as well. So two and a half thousand, 2000 shares, 24,000 reactions. Let's go for newest so you can see. Um, so 29 minutes, 50 minutes, five days, one hour. So quite a few comments all within the last hour. So again, that just kind of goes to show people are buying these things. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's common sense. Um, it's winter time, it's cold. People want to go out and still look good. People want to go out and still wear leggings or still wear tights when they're doing whatever they're doing. Um, and these products or this product allows people to do that. It's a no brainer, a brilliant, brilliant product. This will also sell well into Q1 as well. This is not just a Christmas product, this is a cold product. And in the UK, it's gonna be cold now, probably for the next six months. So you've got yourself a winning product here for at least the next six months. Moving on to the fifth and final product. If you stuck this far, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you go and grab yourself a copy of this 127 Trending Products Ideas. If you liked the products I've shown you today, then you will definitely like this list. So make sure you go grab a copy of that. Um, so this is basically a custom printed, designed, engraved, um, whatever you wanna call it, keychain. It's in the pet niche, it's just, the perfect, perfect product because pet stuff sells really well on Facebook. Things that spark some sort of emotional reaction, as we can see here on camera, always sell well on Facebook. It combines two of the most kind of powerful marketing, not strategies, but elements. That's a better word to use, elements, um, when it comes to selling things on a social media platform. So 7,000 reactions, 400 comments, 1,000 shares. This is an Italian company, so it'd be worth looking at if there's anyone doing it in the UK, in the US, because if there's not, then there's a massive opportunity for this. If a pet product works in Italy, it will work in the UK, it will work in Canada, it will work in Australia, and of course it will work in the US. So definitely, definitely something to consider. The only thing with this will be, of course, being able to find a supplier, but who knows, you may live near to somebody who will be able to do this for you. And so with that being said then guys, that's the video for today. If you stuck this far, I really do appreciate it. If there's anything I can help you guys with, just leave a comment down below. Um, I read every single comment, so I will get back to you. Um, let's have an awesome, awesome Q4. And like I said, if there's anything I can do to help you do that, besides getting a copy of this, of course, 127 product ideas, um, then make sure you let me know. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.